Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for coming. Just a, a brief statement. This is young chiropractor. He's from the age of 25. We've just spent the last two hours with Julian. Um, you know, for the life of me, I can't understand why Julian Assange is in jail, having committed no crime. The family here that he can come and live with, that uh, a bail ought to be given immediately if the extradition order isn't dropped. Now, Julian had the harassment today. Uh, he goes to court tomorrow and they searched his cell this afternoon just before he came down to see us. Um, this play malice that emanates from the Crown Prosecuting Service to Julian Assange must stop immediately. So thank you very much and uh, may I say a few words to you. I came here to visit my great friend and fighter for press freedom for you folks, to the journalists, because you are on Donald Trump's hit list next time. I came here to give him courage and I ended up receiving a lot of strength from him. Julian is in a very dark place. You have to publicize this. He's in, a so in solitary confinement. Today, for instance, he will spend 22 hours of his own in the cell. The only two hours of the 24 hour cycle that he's not going to spend on his own was with us. When he sees people like us today, he doesn't even get the one, the half hour, the 30 minutes of exercise in an enclosed space. He doesn't even get that. For six months, he's been asking for, as a prisoner, his right to exercise in the gymnasium with the other prisoners. He has been denied that. So how is he? He's a force of nature, because I can tell you that I would not be able to even open my mouth and utter a single sentence. His, uh, his mind is working overtime. He's constantly thinking of the merits of the case. Uh, it really does not matter what you and I think about Julian Assange. He's only being charged with journalism. The only reason why he isn't there is because he embarrassed those who committed crimes against humanity, war crimes. People who are out there profiting, not just being free, but profiting, while the person who exposed them, who allowed the international media, the liberal media, to know what happened in Afghanistan, to know what happened in, in Iraq. And that person is now rotting in there. We have to stop this extradition in the interests of 300 years of modernity, 300 years of trying to establish human rights and civil liberties in the West, around the world. Thank you. And this is the reporters with our borders. Uh, I can the effort. Hi, reporters with borders. The question is not, are you part of the family or not? Do you like Juliana Center or not? The question is that tomorrow, in this courtroom, journalism will be in danger. Because if Assange would be extradited to the US, it would be the sign that journalism is considered as espionage. And it would endanger all journalists who want to cover the lies of governments, whatever the country, in Iraq, in Afghanistan, in other countries. And of course, this is a question of press freedom. What happens here goes beyond the question of an individual fate. We have also to say that uh, Assange has been politically and legally persecuted and that is has to stop now and that he needs to enjoy the solidarity of journalists because this is the future of journalism that uh, will be in danger tomorrow anybody wants an individual 
interviews, we can do a few now. So, ask questions over here. I can ask the start one. Like this. Yeah, let's do it here quickly.